Well, imagine getting from Kansas City to St. Louis faster the, than you can drive from Olathe to Liberty. That's the potential of a new type of travel, the Hyperloop. And Ka uh, Kansas City to St. Louis connection is becoming more of a possibility. New at 5, KCTV 5's Abigail James is live to explain. Abigail? Well, Brad, right now a train trip from here at Union Station all the way to St. Louis will take you five hours and 40 minutes. And according to the GPS on my phone, that trip will take you four hours and three minutes by car. But if a Hyperloop was to be built, well, you can expect that trip to be under half an hour. According to the president of the KC Tech Council, Ryan Weber, the Hyperloop is the future of transportation. It's a unique way to transport people very quickly and through a tube and using electromagnets and all sorts of other cool technology in a frictionless environment and that's why it's able to go so quickly. How fast exactly? It's going to be close to the speed of sound. Making it so commuters can get from Kansas City to St. Louis in under 30 minutes. The KC Tech Council will be connecting the various players that will be involved in the project to help fundraise and complete a feasibility study. And that's going to analyze how much it will cost to build how we're going to be transporting the infrastructure across roads and rivers and bridges and also how much is it going to cost of a ride on this. Weber says the prospect of a hyperloop could realistically come to fruition in the next five years. It's going to happen and I'm confident in saying that. I mean this technology is there. It's being tested and proven in the desert outside Las Vegas on test tracks. It's going to happen. Someday we will be transported to other cities very quickly through a tube. Now Weber says for the project to make economic sense, it has to go from coast to coast. Therefore, he says it makes sense to go through the Midwest. Now he says that feasibility phase will take about a year to complete. Reporting in Kansas City, Abigail James, KCTV5 News. Now that is fascinating. Abigail, thank you. Uh, Kansas City